Hello, hello. I'm just trying out my new microphone. I hope you can hear me better right now. And I would also like to show you this necklace that I have worked on today. I have just used some sort of a twined string or leather band. And then I, and then I have uh, used a piece of coil or metal string and then I have just twisted it around a screwdriver and then I have added all these different kinds of charms. I've used lots of papers from the Graphic 45. This is for a gentleman, I suppose. And here's a little bit of a back side. On this side I've got a, a piece of plastic thing from Tim Holtz. I'm not quite sure what they're called right now. I, I'm sure I'll get it. I'll get it after the video has been shot. And uh, on the back side I've just glued on a piece of paper and then I have glued it down with some glossy accents and I have even put some glossy accents over the top of it. But as you can see it has been drying all day but it hasn't dried underneath here. It's sticking though but it's um, there's a little bit of a distance there from the bottom. And I did put something on the back side of everything, all of these pieces, because I didn't want to just show a dull back side. So I've used lots of these beautiful papers and I made nice charms from them. And um, they are these punch out papers that look like, they look, look, look like this and this. So I've used two different kinds of series. And um, I've also used these Tim Holtz different kinds of charms. His muse and he has altered and he has play and the final one is this inspired. No, there's another one, time. And to be able to fasten this necklace I've actually used a locking mechanism that looks like this. I'm hoping you can see it more properly now. Can you see what it is? It is actually an elephant. And I'm letting you in on a secret. The Norsu girl means the elephant girl. So Norsu is elephant in Finnish. And I just love elephants. So that's what I'm calling, why I'm calling myself the elephant girl. And I thought it was so clever finding this lock, uh, which looks like, looks like an elephant. And the trunk here opens up uh, by using that ivory to, tooth there. So this is my first attempt on making a necklace. And I thought it was going to be quite fun making it with lots of these um, different kinds of charms and so forth. Fragments. Now I got it. Uh, these Tim Holtz things, they are called fragments and they actually come in different kinds of sizes and shapes and forms. These are already punched with holes and I think that's a splendid idea if you want to make a necklace of them. Or a bracelet perhaps. But there are also circular ones and um, even square ones. Which could make beautiful books or book covers and, and everything like that. So this is my necklace which I'm going to use tomorrow because we are going to this uh, scrap event. I'm going with Scrap and Hobby there and uh, hopefully it will meet, meet lots of new customers and we'll have a good sale and we are also selling lots of those Tim Holtz dies and um, different kinds of stuff. Uh, distress inks and ink pads and everything like that. So I'll sign off right now for the, with this and I'll just check check out how the how the sound works this time. Bye bye.